So it's been a little while since we've had an unboxing and installation on the channel. Today, got one. You've seen it in the title and thumbnail, so without any further delay, let's get into opening this heater package. This one comes from Alienation, and I am a package recycler for if you buy one of my shirts, it could come in this exact package. And that is not a plug, that's just part of who I am because why throw something like this away when you could reuse it? And we're in. Here we go. First look and first impressions on zoop, 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 the Alienation Starship Sprocket. This is in 28 tooth. And let's just open it on up here. So... On the packaging, we can see a little bit of information about it. Seven series aluminum, 15 sixteenths or 24 millimeter bore. It comes with a 19 and a 22 millimeter spindle adapter. So you can use it on every size BMX cranks available. It is Trekkie inspired as it says on the website. The teeth are actually offset inward a little bit so that you can have better chain alignment. And it is 12 millimeters thick. I assume that is the whole entire thing. And it's interesting to see that it has machining on this side, which you would think in theory would be able to put it even further in on your bike. That would bring it closer to the frame. So as long as you don't have frame issues with the size that you have, it's also available in 28 and 25. And if we keep giving all of the details away, there's going to be nothing left to talk about while we're putting it on the bike. So let's cut to putting this thing on the bike. All right, here we are to put the Starship onto my bike. And first thing we've got to do is take off the sprocket bolt that is holding the sprocket onto the cranks. If I can line it up, because if I don't struggle, is it really me working on my bike? I could stage these things, which sometimes I do, <laughs> and it still would have struggle because that's just the nature of me working on bikes. So there's that. Let's loosen up the crank now. Loosen the crank bolt. I may have to use a little hammer tapping get these washers out of here and I will explain in a second what these washers are for in case you're wondering. Now, loosen that up. And we're probably gonna have to use the Park Tool HMR. And we're off. So I can set that aside, grab my sprocket, Gotta keep track of my washers because these are how I keep my spacing consistent. And slide the spindle out the other side. I think the smart thing to do here would be to replace the 22 millimeter adapter that's on here already with the one that comes with this sprocket, brand new. So we're gonna make sure we do that. Then put that onto the spindle. Make sure we don't lose track of these. They're very specific. The Sunday Knox has done me well. Lots of sprocket stuff went down with this, but it's time to move on to an alienation sprocket. Put the chain on there first. I like to do this so I don't have to remove my chain. And if you could see how easy that just was, I'm gonna double check my frame clearance here. We put these spacers on the outside. We're gonna have to double check that after tightening it up. Oh, you know what? So this is something, there's a real world example here that I didn't even, I should have considered, but I didn't consider enough. Sprocket teeth actually made it closer to my frame. So I need another spacer. So after a little bit of trial and error here, I'm ready to install everything onto the bike. So what I found and what I realized 
in going ahead and doing this is that the offset of the teeth on the sprocket with the minimal amount of spacers that I had between bearing and sprocket meant that it actually was going to hit my frame. So you definitely wanna check your frame clearance if you have a larger 28 size sprocket like this one. It comes in 25 or 28. And also while I'm at it, it comes in this black or also a silver color. But if you get the 28, definitely check your frame clearance before you tighten everything down. And uh, if you need to add extra spacers because it's giving you a closer fit with that offset teeth or with those offset teeth, then make sure you do that before you tighten everything down. So we're good now. I'm gonna slide on my extra spacer plus the previous, the adapter here. Then we're gonna pop the, the sprocket or the spindle in there a little bit. And now we can just slide it on. And if I check everything, yes. Now we have the uh, clearance that I needed so that extra clearance that you get with the offset teeth is awesome if you don't already have it set up like that. If you already have it set up as close as you can possibly get it to your frame because you want to get that better chain alignment, then you wanna definitely really focus in on this more so even than before. So we're good there. Now let's put that through further. And I mentioned previously these two little washers. These two little washers go on outside to match the ones that go onto the spindle. So what's going on here is if I don't have any spacers on the outside of my sprocket because I tried to get it in as far as possible, then that means that my crank is going to be too close to my frame. And that's not what you want. So if you add spacers on the outside of your sprocket, which you can definitely do, you just have to add the exact same amount of spacing between the sprocket on the inside of the sprocket bolt hole area at the same time. So that's something you can do. You just have to be conscious of everything that's going on. So at this point, I'm gonna put this straight down so that gravity holds these bolts in place because it's actually pretty cool. The way the sprocket's designed, it holds these uh, washers in the exact perfect spot. So we need to make sure that we get the cranks lined up properly here. And I believe that is correct. There. I hope that's correct. Does it look correct to you? Let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos where I'm kind of just, you know, opening a product, giving a little overview on it, and then installing it onto the bike. Where it's like a kind of just along for the process and an enjoyable little fun thing. I'm curious if you guys are uh, stoked on these videos. I enjoy making them. They're kind of like therapeutic in a way, as weird as that might sound, where it's just like casually working on my bike, talking about a product, and it's cool. So a couple more details about the Starship. Uh, like I said, 28 or 25 tooth. It is fully CNC'd from 7075 aluminum. 12 millimeters thick, like I said. Comes in two different colors, two different sizes. Crank flips are awesome. I love them. Let's crank it. Stoked. There it is, everyone. The Alienation Starship Sprocket. It is available right now at mail orders in your local bike shop. So get out there, get one, bash your sprocket, tag me in it, let me know. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it and enjoyed this video enough that if you're new here or you haven't yet, you'll hit the subscribe button down below and maybe check out the Starship from Alienation or one of the many other things that they make. So thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.